and welcome back in so I did a quick review here um, we lost the golden age by one point that's fine um, I'm about to circumnavigate uh, east to west here my scout is almost to the border you can see on the side of the screen and there's also I'm guessing another sieve it looks kind of white it could be like Jerusalem or some kind of um, other city-state. I put in a couple of pins. So um, I'm thinking a city here on this little pond. Another city up here in the north, but there's no water. And that lets me put um, holy sites and campuses around the government plaza. If I go into the settler lens, you will see the green is the water. There's not very much there. There's it doesn't appear to be any, and there usually isn't any spots up there in the tundra. There might be some here in the cloud between me and Poland, but there's one little spot of fresh water here left between um, me and uh, Maui there. And if I looked at the scores, he is starting to run away with things here. His science and culture are double and 10 times me, 10x me. And his gold is off the chains. And he has, uh, if I do a trade with him, you'll see he is now looking like at five cities. And the cool thing you can do by hovering over top of the cities over here on the right is it'll show you what districts they've made. So he's made uh, one campus, two campus. And his culture is all just from innate or um, tile uh, bonuses. Um, the fact that I'm close to science with these two other guys is good but I need cities quick and you'll see I we the last thing we did was made a settler um, and the other quick review is if I go into my city we are again one one city I'm about to make a monument in three turns which gives me some culture to help me catch back up but also, it's going to let me do a devotion to Hercules, which I need desperately. It's only a two turns, so within five turns, I should be able to get uh, a campus in my main city. And then, assuming the settler goes out, let's say to probably here, should be within five turns. So, Hercules should be able to get... Um, these pins up and going. I'm not too concerned. I'm not, I, the bait will be whether we go with uh, holy site. It, and these pins are interchangeable. So the government plaza should probably go to Ottawa, but it doesn't have to. And these pins would be like holy site and campus for this city. But these should be interchangeable, whether it's um, campus here or holy, like it, it, it shouldn't matter. Uh, so if you look at our devotion here by square, uh, we are in a normal age. Everybody else is in a dark, oh, normal age. Uh, that's good. I, that means if I can manage to get a golden age here, might be a way for me to use pressure to get cities instead of domination. So if I just have a supply force of military to... Um, take over I might be able to catch it in that way so here we go with our dedication uh, free inquiry uh, gives me plus one error score every time I trigger Eureka which would be good because I tend to go science that's probably what I should do pen and brush would be basically the same idea but for culture my culture is bad right now monumentality with a normal age uh, I get an air score every time I construct a new specialty district, which will be good if I had more than one city. If I had a normal, like, five city 
kind of spell right now with Hercules coming that would be a quick five or six points but um, what I think I'm gonna do is Exodus if I can gain two error score every time I convert a city to my religion and so that means is that if I look back to Maui if I go back to the trade screen here and I go back over the cities remember how it said a campus but it doesn't say holy city which means he does not have a religion on the way yet in the same way if I go to my other competitors here Spain if I make a deal he only has two cities he has a holy site two holy sites so he has a religion and if I look at Poland Poland has a holy site and a holy site and a holy site so she's getting that's why I needed to go religion quick so if I can get an evangelize and or a uh, take over Poland because if I don't she's just going to try to crush me hmm yeah I mean I sh what I should do is rush these guys and get them converted for the error score but if I can convert her holy cities before she has a chance what are what is her faith per turn 200 oh I am behind Anyway, let's go. Exodus is going to be. I have to fight those two. Science is a safe bet. Uh, these are the early game decisions that can make or break you. Uh, that uh, I hum and haw about. I'm going to go with Exodus. That was my first. What I would love to do is monumentality in a golden age, but that's not going to happen. So let's go FX with Exodus of the Evangelists and go to turn number one of episode three so I need to get that settler I think what I should do is settle south realistically because the AI is going to just take it over so let's get down here and see Oh, Masa, Masa Musa. Jeez, usually he's a lot farther south, somewhere, anywhere near desert. Like, that's bad for him up here. Pretty well touching snow. Can we... We have gold now, and my saving gold was for maybe another settler, but that's going to be a lot of way. Let's send him a delegation and try to stay happy with him. Uh, from here, re re I believe we only had six entire sieves in the whole game. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Does that mean there's only one more sieve that's got the whole south of the map to themselves? Seems a little unfair, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh well. Uh, let's see his science. He's not crazy for science or for culture. Uh, what does he have for cities here? One pop, three pop, and a Saguba. That's a trading district or market. And so yeah, so no faith, no science. He's looking for straight gold. Do I have anything to sell him? I could sell him the diamond. That might help me get a uh, settler. It's not going to help my um, amenities, but it'll, it might help me get some gold here. So I'm up to 16 gold a turn. Uh, you can keep going. And here we go. So if I can get over here in what looks like four turns, which would time me up for the monument and everything else, I can go down here a turn later just on the edge of losing losing um oh that's the ballsy play there 
Actually, the real ballsy play would be just to head over in this direction and hope that there's water there. My natural, naturally what I would do is I would go here and just kind of turtle, but that's going to leave me with such bad land quality. Oh, uh, jumpins. Yeah, no, let's go here. Uh, this warrior is just kind of looking around for some tribal huts. Can I go through his? I can't go through his land anyway, so I can't go that way without getting um, open borders. So let's come back here through them all, because, I mean, that's... I'm looking at 20 turns to get around here. I'm just going to give up and bring this warrior back and explore the local area. Give up on tribal huts that way. So let's try to get this monument built. Hercules is a huge help if I can get Hercules. If he's not stolen between now and then, which is generally what happens. He's, everything gets to be like one turn away from what you want. Conscription is good if I had military, which I don't, and Corvée is good for classical wonders. This should come in handy soon, but not until I really get a government. We have changed or finished our state workforce. What I next need is a government to get some error score. Uh, originally, my first plan was to go for uh, theater squares, but let's try to get some gold here with the opening up that trade route. Oh, we finally have a governor. So, Victor, if I think that we're going to end up going war, like if they're, if I'm going to get attacked, I need Victor to stay alive, I think. Armani would let me go around and get Sue's Ranity. Um, what is... Oh, they've already gotten... I could get Suzerain of these two city-states. That would give me six points. And it might be a late settle. It might be like a turn 100 before I get the second monument out. Ooh, maybe I should do that. That's a guaranteed six points. Or... Or if you go in the direction of, say, Magnus, and go with, um, th so the sellers don't consume a population with provision, that 90% of the time, that's what I go with. I go with Magnus, and I just poop out a million monumentality settlers. The other way I usually see people go is Pingala, to kind of catch up on science and culture. Um, science, I think I'm going to be able to tech out with just campuses. And I only got four pop anyway. I'm going to go with Amani. The smart play would be just to hold off and wait. But I'm going to go with Amani. And Arma was already taken over. So let's go with Wolin. And also, if I'm Susan of Wolin, then they can't go to war with me. Or war against me. And it's going to give me um, vision of where they... Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I wish that seller would go a little bit faster. Egypt. Well, hello. Yeah, you can see where I'm from. Now I probably don't have enough gold. Uh, I'm one gold away from giving her some early game. This must be set to eight. This can't be set to six. I thought I set this to six uh, total AIs. I think I'm pretty easily going to get a golden age this time. Because there's Egypt. is way over here. With Rakadet. So let's take a look at Egypt. Oh, I was hoping that Masamusa would be happy with me. Uh, 
she has a lot of cities one pop three pop with nothing three pop with nothing and three so she has no specialty districts yet means she's rushing um natural uh, ancient wonders world wonders she has a lot of army so she's probably fighting masamusa if i look at you can go here and search for who she has um agreements with and stuff no she's unhappy with masamusa that's the only person she's met but she's not a war i thought with that kind of army and the fact that masamusa only has 63 that they would be at war but i guess not she's pretty good with science and with no specialty district too hmm so let's pick our next science um what i should probably do is now that i've got campus and holy site done up which would be my first two districts i've got current i've got the commercial hub i need to start worrying about staying alive and also, if I do, yeah, if I do bronze working and uncover um, iron mines, it'll help me get some science, potentially, as well as it'll give me something I can trade and earn some money. Which will help me, I think that the way for me to get settlers right now is to buy my way through them. I got my monument, let's get Hercules right away. Now, what is my build time? I'm looking at 12 turns for a commercial hub, nine for a campus, and you can see how things are cheaper. I picked a campus before my science, my um, tech knowledge got better. The more techs you know, the more it costs to make a, a district. But let's get Hercules. Temple Artemis again would be nice. Pyramids would be great, but I'm nowhere near getting that. I don't have a river and that's cool, but I don't have a river. So I couldn't be building any of these ancient wonders anyways, world wonders. A settler is gonna cost me 440. I mean, that's 20 turns. I could, what I'll probably do after Hercules is build and buy a settler and see if I can start getting some cities. I need cities in a bad way. I can be turn 50 with one city. I'm willing to bet pretty quick into this playthrough I'm gonna get stomped and we're gonna end this short but hey it's worth a shot. This is gonna be give me the circumnavigate here real soon. Yeah, I guess I should have left uh, barbs on. It would have held back the AI a little bit. Oh, I got two turns on Hercules that time over one turn. If I lose Hercules. Okay. Let's uh, just quickly look at the settler and see if um, Maui has moved up at all. Hmm. This is interesting. So I could pull, instead of coming all the way down here, which is three turns or two turns, yeah, three turns away, I could pull up a little bit short and go in here. Um, problem is there, it's all flat ground, right? That's a hill. That is just grassland. That's just plains. That's just plains. But this is just grasslands anyways. Generally speaking, you want to be on a hill. It gives you more production. But I think I'm going to go here and settle. He's going to be mad because I'm going to be too close. But yeah, I'm going to, that, that should save me two turns. I'm going to settle there next turn. Uh, let's get rid of that pin. Pins are f great. 
but they're also very annoying. So if I go on here and press square, I can delete it. Usually most people, especially computer player, oh, might be a, that should be a science city state right there. That's where she's getting all of her science from. She's a Susan over top of that science state. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that means she has her religion now. Hmm. I mean, the religion doesn't really matter. Hey, we got Hercules. As long as the game doesn't free. And this is going to be Geneva. So Geneva is kind of cool. If I look down here, um, Geneva gives you an extra 15% of science whenever you are not at war with any civilization. So that is why Egypt has not declared war on Masa Musa is she's getting 15% extra science because I will in the bet Geneva is suzerained by Cleopatra because she put Amani there. Exactly. My Amani should settle in Molin in the next turn, I believe. So I'll get suzerainty there. Bandur Bernai, the Eureka for bronze working. I thought I was working on that already. I needed a builder charge on a um, mine or a quarry. So here's Hercules, and you can see his abilities down here. Hercules labor. When he used on a local friendly district under construction, Hercules immediately completes it. Um, and I can do it three times in his lifespan. His Hercules rage is when he's located on an enemy district. Hercules destroys all the buildings present and pillages the district. And again, that costs one charge. So, oh, you know what? <laughs> How much of a jerk would that be if I went over to Poland and crushed your holy sites? Is that a play? I don't think I've seen people do that. I mean, I was going to use him to, to get up on science. Because you see, he has six charges and making a district causes two. So that two, four, six gets rid of your charges. But I could go over here and just destroy Poland. I would have to declare war on her, which means I have to denounce her and then wait five turns. <laughs> That's dirty. Uh, oh, she's got walls up already. Damn. But she only has 15 strength and Hercules has... 48. Oh, there's a dilemma. <laughs> that's a that's an honest dilemma right there. I could also use Hercules to just go destroy Molly. But I mean, I got to be peaceful, don't I? Do I? You know what? If I was playing a different Civ, I would probably have like five cities by now and just go straight to war because uh, that's so tempting that's a that's probably a game-changing dilemma right there like if i go to war right now that probably wins me the game where me being peaceful probably loses me the game but let's go let's go let's go play canada that's what i chose to do so you'll see this um this campus is nine turns away, if you see down here, nine turns to do my campus. And I can just use Hercules to bam. Pray in a campus. And my science is up to 11 now. And that's weird. So what do we do now? Um, I'm at the hosing cap. 
pretty well for my city. I'm a five out of six, so I need more space. I think what I do is builder or settler. Oh, what's my build? Um, 28 turns away from getting that population. I, I need cities. I need, I'm so far behind. I need cities bad. Okay, if I settle here, I lose a food. Yes. But I have... or Ooh, I settle on the amenity. And then I could sell it. And I think I keep the culture, maybe? And I've got a 2-2 tile to work. And I could buy to... The, oh, yeah. That's probably a better play. Let's settle there. Let's keep this guy just going south to the touch the wall here and get my cross the world or circumnavigation. So what am I going to do in Vancouver? Vancouver is going to, I'm going to make a campus. There's no natural pluses. Do I have any other natural pluses here with a commercial hub? No, no, none there. And what about a holy site? Uh, no, none there. Now I went Exodus. Oh, that's right. I can't, I can't go settler. I need to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I, what I realized is that I need faith bad too because that's how I get. I what that's the thing I chose to do with <laughs> this this era. I will convert my own cities first. Do I see where her holy sites are? There's a holy site there. Is that a holy site or is that Stonehenge? Sorry, I know the camera skips around. That's her holy site. One there. I don't see the one here. That's a lumber mill. And I don't see the one here either. But that's only a two pop. I could kill her religion if I get there quick enough. If she's not making her own missionaries, I could very well kill her religion. So with Vancouver, if I go Monument first, that's 15 turns, um, it would be nice to get another great person. Yeah, I'll, I'll start in on that. Uh, we are working on the 2-2. Two, two. If I go to food, I grow quicker. That's always a struggle with me. Like, do you get your population bigger, which will give you more production? Or do you go with production? Oh, I locked it. Do you go with production? So there's 15 turns. So 15 turns of food gives me another production, which will bring that down. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uh, I should probably buy these quickly, these horses, and build that so I can trade them. But I think the next gold I need to do is to buy another settler. So let's next turn. Things are starting to get a little bit better. Yeah, he's not going to like me doing that. I will promise not to settle closer to him. But I mean, even if I settle up here, he's going to get mad at me. The only way for him not to get mad at me is I would have to settle like down in this bottom corner of the map somewhere. And there are my Amani settled, so I get two era score for that. She's not bad. Basically you get double movement. And you're, you can attack twice. It's really cool. Um, if you've got a really powerful 
uh, unit, like say Hercules, her with a, with another guy, you can crush. Like I could take two cities in one turn. So it's really cool. The of There's my foreign trade. What I like to do is I keep that production here. Double experience for recon. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I, none of these really, as Canada, I generally don't really care much about that type. And I'm thinking I'm going to switch from production and go to gold with a trade route. But I should buy, that's a problem, I want to buy, that's going to delay my second settler here. Well, maybe I'll, I'll leave it production for now until I get a trader. So here's my missionary. How quickly can I get over here? Six turns. Okay, let's go to Vancouver. And you'll see I'm Suzerain of Woolen, which gave me their vision. But that's the thing you do with Armani, is now I take Armani, Armani, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, and I'm going to reassign her to Bandar Brunei. And because I was first meet with Bandar Brunei, I have, and now I have two from like a, a science I picked, I can't remember what it was, but when Armani settles there, I'll get three temporarily, and I'll get Suzerain. Again, Wolin, I had four temporarily when she was there, and now I've only got one. The other thing is, t the next time uh, Geneva, or I, next envoy I get, I'm switching my Armani to Geneva, and I'm taking Suzerainity there to get my science. Science is up to 14, which puts me third on the list I see here. Well, one, two, three, fourth, sorry. Close to it. My culture is still bad, and my money is still bad, and my faith is, oh, you, if you see Luna's of faith here, um, Poland, Jadwiga, is down to two faith. I believe she had over 100 last time I saw, so she has bought missionaries. So with any luck, she's going to worry about s converting her own city, which I probably should have done. Uh, my foreign trade is done, so my next is early empire. No, let's go straight for government. I think it naturally picks early empire anyway, yeah. Early empire will let me make settlers quicker if I chose to build them by hand. But let's get some turns in. We're probably running long on the first episode three here anyways. I'm only getting a couple turns done. So I'm going to start knocking some of these turns out a little bit quicker than what I'm doing right now. The early game is to me what takes the longest. It's a lot of planning. Did we get iron? Did we get any iron? Right on my campus. Perfect. <laughs> I believe that means that I cannot build a campus there anymore. So it is what it is. I mean, I, I probably say it a lot. So let's get Hercules here to this next city. And I want a holy site or a campus. Or a holy site or a campus. Holy site's going to give me more faith in a campus. Will let me tech. Do I build both? Uh, so many problems. I think I have to hope for a golden age in my second. So let's get a campus down. I don't really honestly care where things go here. I need to keep a flat flat tile for a spaceport at some point in time. I don't think I'm at that point yet. So let's just go holy site there. 
Let's go Hercules to create that. We'll probably just get that warrior to circle around. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's get, say, I, I would love Petra, but I can't build it. So let's go ironworking just to get some swordsmen out. I need some units here really quick. Otherwise, I'm going to get crushed because my military strength is pretty low compared to everybody else. I mean, if he gets mad at me, I am screwed. Vancouver, let's keep making that monument. I should be growing soon. And I think we'll cut the city when I get to the next... We'll cut this episode when I get my next city down. Which hopefully... If I can settle over here, I will. In the fog. So I'm going to keep... Yeah, I can't, I can't make another... Can I make a, another district here yet? I don't think so. No. Oh, that's right. I chose I can buy use faith to build these. That's right. That's great. Yes, yes, yes. It's funny. I mean, it was only a couple turns away. So let's just explore here really quick. Hoping for water. That's somewhere. There's some water. That's going to be really close to Poland. She's not going to like me this whole game. I guarantee you. There's nothing I can do to keep them happy. There's the circumnavigate, five more points. I am two points away already from a normal age and we are only 10 turns into this era. There's Cardiff. I've got no chance of being their suzerain because I guarantee you Poland already is. Um, let's space this warrior down just so I can kind of keep an eye on, oh, what I'm looking for is if he starts sending units my way. The great thing is, is that he has to denounce me first. Now that we're over here, we've touched the, touched the wall, playing Red Rover. I'm just going to send him to the four corners of the earth and try to look for all the sieves. Every time you meet a sieve, you get another air point or more air score. And my goal right now is just golden age. That's all I care about. I need faith. I need golden age. I need more governor points to go into Magnus, I think. So let's look at the settler lens here really quick and see that I get any water. I can settle right there. That'll make her very upset. I think city. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to settle over there and put Hercules right in that city to defend it. There's good land through here. Uh, the problem is there's no no fresh water. It just stifles your cities until you can get like neighborhoods, which are so late in the game. Uh, you can see Vancouver grew to pop two, which reduced their. Uh, see, uh, just cycling around the uh, Armani is giving me four air score which might be the difference about whether or not I get a golden age. The twins are really good. Uh, the twins basically are really strong uh, units to fight with. And they also, they, they can travel across the terrain doesn't affect their movement speed. Um, with this warrior, I should defend. I need to, I need to park him there and just leave him. That I do not like. I want her warriors to stay inside of her area. Oh, she's going to be mad at me. 
please convert. I got three charges to get rid of that. Oh, that's kind of tricky. There's Spain coming around to look around. Yeah, she doesn't like the fact that I don't have a big army. So she's going to be mad at me. Whatever, she's on the exact opposite of the map. Oh, oh I probably shouldn't have tried to convert her. I probably shouldn't have tried. Do I remember if she was at war with Spain? Right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sometimes when the AI is in war, they uh, they won't worry about being at war with more people. Again, this is not just... I switched to Settler. Yeah, I'm making a Settler. Let's go Settler. Does this kill the... Please, this should get rid of the religion. Yes. And I am going to generate grievances by doing this. Oh, if... She's probably going to go to war with me anyways. But I don't want to lie to her. Yeah, she's going to be bad. I got her faith. So, if she has... A missionary right now, it's going to come back and try to. S <laughs> Did I? Sorry, I know I'm talking in circles. I don't usually kill people's religions. No, she still has. I mean, if I lose my faith to that, that's not bad. I mean, guard wars are really good. It just sucks that Spain and um, Poland are right next to me and they both get religions. I don't want Spain's religion at all. Choral music and meeting house is good. And then feed the world and what is what I wanted in the first place. So what I should be doing is going to try to get whoever Catholicism is, which is probably Russia down in the south. Probably in tundra <laughs> so i potentially just killed their, their religion so okay we want to appoint magnus in my capital i want to double promote him now that armani is there i want to take Arma armani <laughs> armani <laughs> Sorry, i just realized what i'm saying i need her in geneva and I need to steal that to get science. See, I'm back up to 15, which puts me close to Spain. I need another monument. How can those barbarians, there's no barbarians. How does that make sense? There's no barbarians in the game. How can he be mad at me for that? Ooh. This is good. I want him to be my friend. And he's going to pay me gold. That is good. And they are at war with Spain. <laughs> me, me, me settling where Hercules is there is not going to make Poland very happy. So I've got one more charge left. Do I go convert Vancouver for error score? Or, I mean, I can't convert Krakow, but I can explore. There's her missionary there. I wish you could see how many charges it has. Because it's probably going to come back up here. So I'm going to come back up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I keep this conversion. I really don't. I think I just try to convert Warsaw. Warsaw? And what is my next... Because every time you make a religious unit, they cost more the next time to make. So the first one was 110, I believe, or 150. And they keep going up. Now this is 160. 
a settler next turn so that should be the episode when we get the settler out well well let's wait till we'll settle the city on hercules at the end of the episode and see if she instantly declares war on me and i forgot to check friendship and i also need to get a trade route So, why, oh, do I convert this city and try to get rid of it, or do I camp, because they have a holy site here, yeah. Let's go over here. We need to... Library would be good. I want to buy them with faith. Trade route. Settler cost me 560 now. I don't think I'm going to end up basically buying them with gold. I just, you know, I'm 20 a turn. That's nowhere near going to be enough. I need to make money. And also with my religion, I can spread my religion with trade routes as well. We need, do I hard build? Let's just go another settler. I really need to start making my city better though. If I go build or settler, that puts me up to turn 70 on three cities. Jeez, this might be an hour long episode <laughs> to get like 10 turns. It's funny, when I'm playing by myself, I, I just click, press, click, press. And it might be the right decision, it might be the wrong decision, but it's getting stuff done. Uh, so, I might have to find a way to make things a bit snappier. Where are the trade routes I can go to? I can either go to Vancouver, or I can get a another envoy by going to Wolin. I could try sending my trade route to Vancouver and then coming back that should be giving one faith right yeah no let's go to Vancouver because I Vancouver sucks <laughs> I need to get some um, I need to get some production and some growth here in Vancouver but it's growing fast. Like it grew to that rice tile, which is giving it five food, which lets the population grow, which will then, yeah. I needed 160 for another missionary, I say, which should be getting it this turn. What are they getting for faith? She is down to one faith. There's no way she had 150 faith between now and the last time I checked. Right? There's no way she bought another missionary. My only hope is that she doesn't convert... Oh, she converted Krakow with one missionary? That's craziness. So basically the way it works is one charge converts one pop. And you need 50% or more. So you, she would need five charges in Krakow to convert it. That's just craziness. Now... I don't think it matters between horses and chariots as far as what I pick for science. What I need to be thinking about is not wasting turns. So two turns because I already have a boosted. Where do I want to go to? I need to get to something via yeah, industrial zones. So I need to build three mines. I need to play smart. I need to basically be trying to boost things so I need some builders I need some builder charges
I need to be focused with what I'm trying to tech towards. And I think I'm just kind of push up towards like Santa, like up in this area. What I need is some faith to get to some of the, the natural wonders or the ancient wonders. So I'm just going to click on apprenticeship here. I'm probably not going to be able to boost it unless I buy a builder. Yeah. This would be good for the gold, I guess. This will charge me up a little bit quicker. Uh, the long term, I need suzerainty of them back. We'll just put you on alert. Do I build the second city in this middle area with no water? So that's one. I want to see. I wanted to see how much uh, faith Poland's getting per turn, basically. So they went from one to. Four, she's getting forty-four or forty-three faith per turn. That's not good. There's no point in me trying to religiously convert them. Honestly, I kind of forget what I. I know it wasn't very long ago. What did I do for my faith? Okay. Let's just worry about converting my own stuff. I'll go convert Maui. Do do do. Yeah, well, let's just keep keep rolling. I'm only eight points away from a golden age, which means I need to just hard up focus on faith. Forget science. The way I get through this is I just faith purchase settlers. I would like to delay that next settler from coming out until I get Magnus established with provision. Which I think I... Do I get a... I do not. What I'm looking for is a, uh, a great person charge and I don't get one here at all until I build basically if I build my government plaza which I cannot do here yet until I get to population of seven or population five here so unfortunately Ottawa is going to stall out for pop here for a while and I just met another city-state. Yeah, look at that. Oh, excellent. Maybe Poland's not going to be mad at me. Yeah, look at Egypt's start where she had so much science. She has Geneva and Malta all to herself. Or Matila. I've always called that Malta. and That's not Malta, is it? So... You are kind of happy with me now. Can we start making some money here together? Who is he at joint war with? He's at joint war with both of them. That's awesome. Yeah, I could do that. I know. I know. And then next era, I could do this and sell it for 10 and I know you're I'm not going to do that but I could sell them I guess the more money I get the quicker I get stuff as long as I use my money for something I'm fine with that like maybe can I get a delegation to these people? No. I already did him. I I did her. It's just uh, Poland. 
And maybe they keep happy with me. That could also spell my demise. If I can stay happy with her, I'm happy to stay with her. Like she can do her own thing as long as she doesn't try to like conquer me. So can I just do open borders with everybody else? Yeah, sure. There. And I think she's mad at me. Which means she wants me to pay 30 gold to do that. Nah, I'm not too concerned. Settler time! Oh, she's gonna be mad. But I need it. I need water. See, I converted. There's another point. I'm nine points away now. Hamilton now has a base strength of 49, so she can't really take me over anyways. But I should probably build a wall here soon. But what I'm going to do is let's get Faith. Let's get a Holy Sight. You see, it takes 46 turns. That would take me half of the game, basically, to do this. And again, I'm not too concerned about what tiles I use up. I'll just use whatever base doesn't destroy a bad tile. And I can go boom. Holy Sight made. So we want to get a monument. I'd like to buy it. I could buy it next turn. I could buy a shrine next turn. Yeah, we're starting to get some gold. I can buy stuff. So let's just go walls. And buy the monument next turn. How close? Oh god, we gotta hurry up and get the... <laughs> like, come on guys. We've been half the game here. Oh yeah, that was supposed to be the end of the episode. So we've gone from one city to three. Soon to be four. And then we're going to get a golden age. There's nothing stopping me from getting the golden age. So next episode, we should really fill in this whole area. There's not a lot of good cities left here. But if I play it right, I should be able to come back out of this. And maybe get somewhere closer to that 10 cities by turn 100. So we'll see you soon.